I thought that we okay. could we could all listen and, and figure out. I mean, uh, okay. like at the same time or no? That's too well, much. Well, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I could take a guess. I'm gonna. I might have yeah, to go through it again here. about some of the guys in the band? Okay, well, uh, Adam Halsman, the keyboard player, who happens to be my husband, um, is uh, currently uh, the keyboard player in Stephen Wilson's band, and um, he played with Miles Davis and uh, Grover Washington Jr., Wayne Shorter. He's got an incredible, incredible background, Shaka Khan. And uh, Chad Wackerman, the drummer, uh, he, I was, I've been a fan of his for a while. He played on one of my favorite albums, Metal Fatigue, with um, Alan Holdsworth. And he's played with Frank Zappa for many years and played with Holdsworth for many years. It's amazing. Brian Beller, the bass player, uh, is incredible. He plays with Joe Satriani and also has the band uh, The Aristocrats with Guthrie Govan and Marco Litterman. And Alex Skolnick, who is playing on a few of the tracks, uh, incredible guitar player, uh, people know him from Testament. He's a guitar player in Testament, and he also has a uh, jazz trio. And he and I play in another project together, so we have a really nice rapport. Um, and I mean, that's the core of the band right there. But check it out. I'm playing the changes on piano, but the main chords are the roads. See if you like this. Uh -huh.
but my, my style has been really going into this direction for a while, coming from, uh, I mean, I started out as a, an acoustic player playing folk music, and then I got into jazz, and then uh, during my, uh, at one point I started hearing more electric jazz and more uh, backbeat um, music with, with, you know, heavy grooves, and then I started getting more into heavy rock, and uh, uh, progressive rock. Lately I've been inspired by, by bands like uh, Animals as Leaders, Periphery, Stephen Wilson, Port the Country, and Open. And um, I find a lot of the, uh, the conceptual ideas that they have are really interesting, so I ended up um, by basically being inspired by that and combining that with you know, a lot of my jazz roots and fusion roots. And this is what, you know, what's come out of that. It's really fun for me to play in that style because I've never really done that before, and I love the heavy heaviness of the guitars and the way, you know, the the uh, intricate sixteenth uh, note rhythms and stuff fit in with the groove. I think it's really. You've been heading this direction for a while, though. It's slowly moving. You didn't just jump into it now. Though. Right, right. I mean, your last album was pretty hard hitting too. My right? last album was definitely. I, I feel like a there was a sort of a line that I sort of crossed over, and uh, my last album three was sort of right on the line and then this album I feel like yes I've definitely the line of what? a line of like progressive rock. Mm -hmm. 